Hi, I'm Chris from Simul. As you can probably tell by the video title, today it marks the release of our 4.3 beta plugin. We've currently only released the Unreal and SDK for 4.3, but we do hope to have Unity available within the very near future. We're aware some of you have been waiting for this for quite a while, so as soon as it was ready to be shown and released, we have done, and just due to Unity having a vast amount of changes, we're giving it a few more checks before we get that out to you so it's in a more stable position. And we will, when it releases, have a video covering the changes and updates done to bring the Unity plugin back in line with its Unreal counterpart and how we intend to keep it that way. In this video, however, I will be covering quickly some of the new features that came with this update, as well as some of the improvements and changes that you will notice when compared with the previous releases. If you are new to True Sky, we have tutorials on the channel for setting up and initializing for the first time. This system has not changed at all, so all that information should still be correct. And as such, I won't be going through that here, and I'll be assuming that you have initialized TrueSky within your scene. With the 4.3 update, one of the first things you may notice is a new rendering scheme. At Simul, we're always pushing to try and produce the highest quality clouds as efficiently as possible, and with the best performance that we can get out of our software. 4.3 is an incarnation of that thought process, and we have greatly improved the time needed per millisecond per frame. However, in order to do this, we have moved towards a different way of actually rendering the clouds into your scene, and it will be notably visible when changing values and changing sequences, as rather than instant transitions, you will get a short fade effect. This is partly because of interpolation uh, between the different settings. And as mentioned, it can be slightly frustrating initially. However, you still get the same cloud clarity at runtime with a vast performance increase. And in the future iterations of the software, we're planning to allow for this incremental loading to be controllable by you as the user. So you can make it faster when developing and slow it back down if you require more performance or if you actually don't need the fast updates during your runtime scene. We have also added a feature called cloud tinting. It's a pretty straightforward system, which will allow you to just change the color of the clouds that are being rendered without having to alter any of the more complex settings within the cloud or sky layer. It is simply available within the cloud lighting section of the true sky actor and functions with a color picker, which I'm showing on screen. Now, this will just give you a little bit more artistic control and expression within your scene very quickly and very simply. A large feature that we've worked on for quite a while now is the Auroras. It is an expansion on the current rainbow system we have, and as with everything done at Simul, is aimed to be physically accurate as possible. The settings that are available are very in-depth, and all the controls are within the True Sky Actor themselves. But as mentioned, we have full documentation to cover this, and we will have a video tutorial showcasing all of the features and functionalities that come with this system. A shortened version of how to get this to work though, just for initial checks, is you will have to move your latitude and longitude of your scene towards the poles, which is done quite simply within our True Sky Actor. And then altering time should cause them to appear. Sometimes you may require to alter the time and date, which is done within the sky layer, but you can get generating auroras extremely quickly by doing this. Auroras are something that we do plan to incrementally update and improve upon and we have a few planned for our future releases some improvements to water has occurred the largest and most notable is that water meshes have been added to our system this allows for much better performance and control of bounded waters rather than being limited to the cube shape of the bounded water that we currently have to use it simply all you need is a mesh and you assign it within the true water actor and all previous controls and systems will work with this. As mentioned prior, a large thing that we are looking to work on and have been working on is documentation. Uh, we have ensured that all new features that have come out with this update has some kind of extensive documentation to cover it and help you as the user learn and use our features. We are also looking to update anything that has changed. However, as you can imagine, this is a mammoth task due to how in-depth TrueSky is. So if anyone comes across any issues, please let us know via the Q&A channel and we will give them an update and try to keep all this information as up to date as possible. This will also extend to video tutorials, which we will be starting again and hopefully bringing everyone up to speed 
with multiple ways and places to learn how to use the software. We do plan to, as mentioned before, have a video covering most of these large features that I've released, going much more in depth and showcasing the features to their full potential. We do, however, have some smaller changes that come with this 4.3 update, and I'll quickly go through them now and showcase how to get them going and working. A notable is the wind speed can now affect the angle of your precipitation, allowing for more dynamic storms and weather effects. It's very simple, adding just some wind speed via the True Sky actor while having precipitation active within your scene. You can then alter the amount that this is affected via the precipitation wind effect setting. We have added the naming of layers to our sequencer, which is a fairly simple thing, but allows a bit more clarity and easier organization for you as a developer when creating cloud sequences as you can now edit a setting and then label what that current layer is doing. We brought a few blueprint improvements to the Unreal Engine version. One of the most notable ones is the ability to create and delete new layers and create and delete new keyframes at a set time from your current position. This, as you can imagine, allows for a whole new host of opportunities with the blueprint pipeline. We also have added the ability to control map textures via blueprints, as well as changing how we access these map textures so that we do not need to use the external resource folder, which was used before, and you can actually do it all within the engine. I'll showcase the blue case, the blueprint notes here, but as you can imagine, these will need to be covered more in depth in a later tutorial, but the documentation has been updated, and so you should be able to read up and get them going if you so require. We have the ability to rotate keyframes now by simply just holding the control button and moving your mouse within the cloud window. This does also work with map textures, so as you can imagine, really frees up some artistic freedom if you are using that system. As mentioned within the release post that we have made on the Q&A forum, we have made a lot of changes that allow us as a team to update much more frequently and incrementally, and that is our plan to do so from now on. So ensure that you are keeping up to date with the latest plugin and all the known issues that we are aware of will be mentioned on this Q&A board post. We are excited to hear the feedback for the 4.3 update and to see how you are all using it within your projects. All of our discussions can be reached in the usual places such as the Q&A page at simo.co or by reaching out to us on Twitter. We still offer our 30 day free trial for new users upon signing up. And so if you wish to try out this 4.3 update, feel free to go through there. Or if your license or trial has run out, feel free to request a trial extension. And I'm sure that if you specify that you are wanting to try out 4.3, we will extend your trial. We hope to see you all in the next video and hope you all have a good day.